going to be honest here, this is the second time I filmed this video. My very first one was actually, <laughs> if you watch the video over here, it was how I packed and it was on a cat tree, not ideal for a full length outfit. So I, when I pivoted to this kind of angle for specifically when it comes to the leather video, which will be coming out after this. Today, this is a very different video than I normally do and depending on how I feel, I may do more of the series. I'm thinking of doing a Quince collection essentially because I own so much from Quince that I thought like, you know what, there's not a lot of YouTube videos reviewing on Quince items and I thought, why don't I? Because I have a lot of Quince silk, a lot of Quince linen, Quince leather, Quince cashmere. And I have a lot of like random items here and there. I'll probably do like a full collection video as well. And I'm not going to wear it and just going to go boom, 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 boom. Here's a little review. I am going to talk about Quince Silk in this particular one. It is actually what got me into Quince in the first place. I saw like an Instagram story or an Instagram ad on the Quince skirt that a lot of people may have seen and particularly for me i was like oh this is cute this is nice i don't own any silk i don't own any sign either so i looked into it and i saw the price i was very suspicious of it thankfully i'm in a part of i'm in the time of my life where i can actually afford to upgrade a lot of my closet for those that don't know me <laughs> i actually have a lot of clothes from elementary school middle school and high school you know like i actually fit my elementary school still but I started to upgrade because back then I did a lot of Forever 21, I did a lot of like fast fashion, but I also had a lot of knockoffs from China that my mom got from China and it's not good. So ever since then I've been actually to, like swapping things out of my closet to like brand new high quality items and specifically items that are natural fibers instead of synthetic and also a little bit more sustainable than fast fashion. But for these items and at that price, it's actually a really good price. And for the sustainability of this, if it's like a high quality item, I won't be buying it that often. So therefore I think it's more sustainable than fast fashion. I have the Silk PJs, a Silk robe, Silk Camisole, Silk Dress, Silk Skirts, either the Midi or the Maxi, and a Shirt Dress. I am going to put, and, and also like a white button down, two of them, different styles. So I'm gonna put them on and talk through it as well while I'm there. So again, have some patience with me. This is my first time doing this. I'm gonna put on my PJs, which is actually what I wear every single freaking day. All right, I'm gonna try to, to kill two birds with one stone here. I'm wearing the robe on top of my PJs. I'm trying to figure out. This robe is black, by the way. My PJs are black, so I apologize if you can't really see that well. But there's like a little string on the inside, which I love in my robes because then it's a little bit more secure than just the initial sash. Click that in. And then I have my main sash that is here. So this is a nice robe. I actually used it for getting ready when it comes to my engagement photo shoot. But to be honest, I wanted a robe just to have a robe for the option. This robe is actually like a v-neck here like i showed you there was that little string in the inside and then there was this actual sash here on the outside there are pockets but they're very shallow pockets and the sleeves kind of go out here but it doesn't go that far up you can kind of see from here and it also hits like right by my thigh here i don't know can i pan down should i pan down there we go my thigh over here hopefully it's obvious i'm gonna actually put the photo of the listing on quince here as well so i actually kind of it's like not the most coverage i can if i like adjust it this way there will be coverage and my mama butt will still be showing so i would still wear some kind of shorts under it and that's the rope i don't use a rope that often i don't have a reason to use a rope that often i just like having a rope for the option to get ready or if i want to like get all cozy and everything but I normally my PJs are actually what I'm wearing right now so I have the again I'm going to put the photo of the actual quince listing here I have the button down it has a little pocket here it has concealed buttons which I actually thought was very cute and nice because when you're sleeping you don't want the buttons to constantly be in the way personally for me I'm a very crazy sleeper I like move my body in every single way so I actually like it where I don't have the buttons shown because then it doesn't actually like get ripped off or anything like that I will say 
I like how it's cropped here because then it gives them more air filtration or air circulation of, I don't know what you call it, airflow. So when you get all hot, you're all fine. But then sometimes I sleep like this and then it goes like all the way up. I am wearing a bra, by the way. I don't normally sleep with a bra, but I'm doing this so I don't accidentally flash you. And I like the cut here too. Sometimes if you, <laughs> if people at work are watching this, sometimes you might see me film in my PJs because it's a button down. I actually thought it's like, oh, it works out, you know? But honestly, to the, if it's like cut like this, I feel like people may know that I'm wearing my PJs. So I'm sorry for that. But I've actually, <laughs> I've even done job interviews in these. <laughs> I like silk because particularly for me, I don't sleep hot, but I do sleep cold. And it has like a warming, it's like a not a warming, it's an insulating kind of feature of it. And a lot of times when I'm in the bed, Addison's sleeping next to me and he's, he sleeps hot. So the heat actually comes to me through the bed. And this actually is really good with airflow because of like, you see how flowy it is? Like even the pits area is like flowy here. I like that, but also silk has those properties to be able to dissipate the, the, like the moisture. I've had, before I actually got into quince silk, is that I used to have like cotton t-shirts or cotton, like some kind of cottony or polyester blend on me as like the PJ. And to be honest, I hated them because it actually soaked up the sweat to the point where it felt damp. So bad. However, Ever since I got into silk, I don't feel that. It actually, silk is better on your skin. Silk is better on your hair. And in general, I thought this was nicer because it looks nicer. It's got that nice sheen to it. When I first got it, it felt like almost velvety and then it got a little bit softer and a little bit shiny over time, like to how silk is supposed to be. It's a lot more durable than the typical silk. So I personally like silk PJs. I This is my second one. My first time, actually there was like a rip here silk is still a fragile item so or fra fragile uh, fabric so if you were to like rip it then the seams will start to break and then the fabric will break and i actually this is also my second pj pants in the summertime i'm actually wearing the shorts i'm not taking that out today because i didn't want to it's like literally deep into my closet somewhere but these pj sh pants are really nice i'm gonna actually pin it down so these PJ pants are really nice because they actually have this like venting area. I'm gonna pan this down. There's actually like a venting area here where there's like a slit on both legs, which is nice. I really like it because then a lot of times I can sleep and then it ends up riding up like this and I still get the airflow. But at the same time, the benefits of silk and I have some more coverage. When I have the shorts, to be honest, it goes here and when I go upstairs and I live on the second floor so people can literally look up and like who's looking but sometimes I actually go see my rover clients in these pants not in these particular ones the shorts but with those shorts you can literally look up <laughs> but yeah so that's actually what I've been doing when it comes to my PJs and I love it I can't live without it I do however have a tank top as well for a little bit when I actually like keep this specifically at home I use the tank top or another shirt when I go sleep at when I travel but these I really like I don't wash as often because to be honest silk is really nice I actually even though I sweat a little bit sometimes because of Addison's heat or like the heater is so strong that it's so hot and when I open the window it's like a constant mess is that it actually doesn't stink that's something that I notice is that when I have like a polyester cotton or even cotton in general I have PJs that literally soak up the sweat or soak up a smell. So it doesn't soak up any kind of smell. So it helps out actually that way. I kind of went over the benefits of the silk. So now I'm actually going to move on to the items that I have. I like these PJs because this has a pocket here. I don't really use it that often. Sometimes I do. But these pants have pockets here and they're deep enough to fit my phone. And I love the vents specifically for PJs. I would not wear it outside but they work as like PJs. So there are actually, <laughs> I have a new shipment coming in, but I don't think it will be out by the time. It won't be here by the time I do the video, but I have like the Silk Palazzo pants I put on the, I'm gonna show it here. I'm not gonna do a review because I haven't received it yet and I haven't used it yet. But personally for me, it's, I feel like it's similar to this, but that's something that you can wear outside while these are like solely PJ pants. 
but it's also nice because it's got a like elastic band here too so when i sleep i'm like ooh. and i originally had the large and that's actually where i got the rip around the crotch area because i sleep like this and i actually sized up in my next one to extra large because i know i sleep crazy and i don't want any tightness in the crotch because sometimes i literally sleep like that so i <laughs> Take it as you will, figure out what kind of sleeper you are, size up, size down, whatever. But I would say when in doubt, size up because it's like a cropped feel and you may want to have some airflow and you want some coverage, but I like it. Okay, this one is the V-neck camisole with a slight stretch to it. So it's silk, it's red. I do have multiple colors as well that I use because I use this as a layering piece. I have it in the pink. It's like a Barbie-ish pink, but on a paler side, a lighter side. There is a white, and then I have a black scoop neck. It's a little bit different. And oh, I guess I didn't pull all of them out. I have the blue, the blue, the navy blue, dark blue, and I have a green, which is actually what I wore to Grace Hopper, by the way. I use these a lot for layering pieces. I can put on like a blazer on top or a light jacket of some sort, and this is fine. I like it because you get the feel of silk and you have like a nice undershirt that shows like a neckline if you want to have a little necklace and everything. I have these and honestly, I'm still trying to figure out the sizing properly. Like even if I put this side by side, you'll see that the straps here are a little bit different for each of them. So I'm still trying to figure out the right area. I know this fits me perfectly. It's just the straps. The straps are spaghetti strap. They are adjustable. They have like a little thing here. I don't know what it's called, but it's an adjustable thing. I am wearing a bra under this. I would recommend wearing a bra because this is thin. It's literally silk, so your nipples will show. You can wear a nipple, nipple, what do you call it again? A pasty, you can wear a pasty. And then that actually will help a little bit, but it is very thin. If you don't have boobs, maybe a PC will be okay. I have boobs, so I wear a bra. But it's very thin. This Okay, this is the one thing that I didn't know until I made this video. <laughs> this is one layer. This is thin. These two are also one layer. It's thin. This one's also thin. One layer. However... The white and the pink, they're the same items by the way. The white and the pink have two layers because of the sheerness. They have two layers. If I show you on the bottom, it will be more obvious. Like there's literally two layers that make up one layer or at least one side. And I think it's mostly because of the sheerness of it. If it didn't have that layer, it will literally show everything. So I actually like the darker ones for the one layer and then the double ones for the sheer slash lighter colors, which are good for if you kind of want to get away with not having anything on. Sheerness is not an issue with these particular ones. So I like it for a layering piece. I could put a nice jacket on, a nice blazer, as I mentioned. They are nice because they're nice and silky. There is adjustment. One thing I did want to say is that these straps are so, so fragile. Again, like I said, silk is very thin and fragile. It is not a not a durable item, but quince is more durable because I've actually put them in the wash before. This one has been in the wash and it looks like it's all good. However, I would say that I think my lighter items honestly have been, had they have more damage because it's a little bit more wrinkly. I unfortunately put bleach in some of them and it left, like there's no more sheen to it. You still get the benefits of it. It almost feels a little bit crispy because of that like almost like chiffon kind of crispy it lost a sheen like unlike this one but i will say don't use bleach you're not supposed to use bleach i'm still pretty new to silk i've only recently gotten into the silk like one to two years ago when i got introduced to quince so i actually like this cami so i would recommend it if you're worried about the sheerness you don't have to worry about it you might still need to wear a bra or a pasty of some sort though but i would say as a layering piece they're great because they're so thin you can easily tuck it that's actually something i was looking to do is like get a top that's easy to tuck instead of like bunching up this you don't have to worry about i personally thought it was nice as a layering piece and that's why i have it in darker colors and lighter colors that can match and with like different tops this one is the scoop neck yeah this is the scoop neck top do you see that it like dips down a little bit 
so I actually have these loosened a little bit because if I had it too tight it would literally kind of look like this and that doesn't give it that scoop neck style but this one also has might be hard to tell has like little like it actually cuts like that so it adds some shape it adds some shape to the camisole I also use this for a layering piece I put a blazer and it gives like a detail here at least just because honestly I have a lot of black but I got this so I add some kind of detail with this inner layer so yeah nothing I can say it's literally the same as the others it's got a spaghetti strap adjusted straps um, this one's got a little scoop neck some vents here it's also thin like normal silk so you can easily tuck it let me give you an example. I'm not going to tuck it like this. I'm doing it for the sake of the video. But yeah, you can easily tuck it just like that. And then you get a little look here. These are my PJ pants, but maybe it'll actually be pretty similar to the Palazzo pants. So this is how it looks with a little scoop neck. Okay, so this one is a button down. And I want to show you the difference between this one and that one. I have two buttons down, but the actual neckline's a little bit different. You'll see this one has like a V shape here. It's good for if you want to highlight a necklace or it's a little bit more luxe. You'll also see that there's a, like two layers almost of silk on this side. So I'm actually wearing a nude bra, so you really can't see, but you can kind of see the outline here. So this is meant to be like you should have something under it, but sometimes I just wear it alone to be honest because it's nice and thin and very luxurious this one has a true button down like that like a normal button down this one's good for a layering piece if you want to have it as like something like a blazer on top or you can even wear it by yourself but i personally like the silk because it's so thin you can actually stuff it in under something and this v-neck honestly it does go down as well here but it doesn't go too down it's almost meant like it's actually supposed to be worn like this that one, however, is a little bit longer. It's actually almost like a normal dress shirt where you're supposed to tuck it, but you can actually get away with just like going like this. So, I don't know what else to say. This is a nice white dress shirt. I actually like this for specific outfits where I want to like shine, like show off this neck area. So I put in like a nice necklace. And that one I use more as like a layering piece if I want to like wear it under trousers. So I'm actually going to wear this one next and then I'm going to layer it with the skirts and that's I'm going to show you the silk skirts as well while I'm at it. One of the things I like about silk specifically is that it's almost anti-wrinkle just because of how soft the fabric is and personally for me that means that oh I could travel with it. The only thing is that it is a fragile fabric so you might want to be careful about it but this is the button up here and actually <laughs> while I was putting this on I remember I actually have two other pieces let me bring that out I'm not gonna try this on but this is the exact same one as the one I tried before where it has a v-neck here this is a black version so let me show you see it's got a v-neck here nice and silky same as the other one I have a lot of bun downs as you can see but this one is a little bit different I am going to try it on for you, but this is actually a normal silk shirt. It doesn't go all the way up. It actually goes like midway here, and then you can use this as a bow. It's a little bit more formal if you want to tuck it in, wear it as like a blazer, or wear it with a skirt or a pant. What I like about this one is that it's actually got a little bit more of a formal feel to it, so you can easily dress it up. Not so much dress it down, but you can always wear it with like cute pants. And that's how it looks. So you have a normal black top. I go all the way up because otherwise I'll show a gap here. And then I have a little bow here. And this is where I would like to typically tuck it in like that with like trousers. All right, this outfit does not necessarily work together, but I'm doing it because I'm already wearing it. This is the maxi silk skirt. You'll see that there's lines, there's like wrinkles here. And yes, it is somewhat of like wrinkle proof because when you actually put it up and it's all steamed out, it will stay that way. Fortunately, when I got them, they come in like the packages and the plastic wrapping. So it comes in the original line. I have not washed this. I have not steamed it. That's me being lazy. But I've seen that like when I put in some of these in my washing machine, it comes out all good when I dried the proper way. You'll see 
I'm 5'7 for reference. This actually hits my mid calf, so it actually makes it so good that I can actually wear boots like that. I have a black version as well. Oh, came off the hanger. I have a black one as well. I wear it high waisted, so it's like on my waist here. If I wear the black one, it also lines around the same area, of course. Same exact one. You'll see this one's also got the lines because I haven't washed it or steamed it. This is the same. I'm not going to actually put this one on, but you'll get the, you'll get the reference essentially. This is basically the same, just in a different color. This is like a champagne gold almost. It's not white. It's not, it's kind of like ivory, but more champagne if anything. This is like a black, honestly. This would match more probably with my silk top right now. But you'll see that the skirt's actually a lot shinier than the top. So it's like slightly different silk, slightly different made. I'm gonna put on the next one. So these two, that one, this one, this one is a maxi. This is a meaty. So this was the original one that went viral. It actually would hit at my knees right over there. If I wear it high-waisted, of course, but I always wear it high-waisted. So this would hit by my knee here. And I'm gonna put this on now. I don't know how these fashion YouTubers do this. They have to change every single time you film something. So this one probably fits better with the outfit because it's all black. I have this sitting at my waist. It is elastic, by the way. And this hits at my knee, like I said before. I like this dress because it's luxurious and silky. It ends right below my knees here. It is one layer, it's not lined. And I actually wear this with a bra right now at least because it's so thin, but it's so shiny, it's sleek. It's actually really good for the holidays. It is a slip though. You could actually put a sweater on top and it will make it into like a skirt built in. But I like this as like a slip skirt, slip dress because it's easy to wear. There's even lines built in here. I don't know if you can see it. There's even a line here to kind of show a flow and you'll notice that it drapes down into the legs and kind of shows a little flutter. So I thought that was very nice. I do have the black one as well. I'm only gonna wear one, but I'm choosing to wear this one since it's easier to show you. This is also the black version of the same exact dress. They all have the adjustable strap part over here. It is still a spaghetti strap. This one's my last one. It is a shirt dress. You'll see that there's actually a flap here just like in the PJs and the pussy foot, pussy foot one that actually covers the buns for a sleeker look. And you can button it down, make it a little bit more casual. You can button it all the way up if you want to do that. There is like a little sash here to kind of nip into the waist. It does come a little bit short. Let me move it down a little bit. It does come a little bit short. My butt's right here and it can kind of peak here. I would recommend wearing shorts here. Personally, I think this is a really good one for work because you can just have a have like a knee high boot with this. And actually I think the model even had it on with knee high boots, but this is a really nice one for like the workplace. I actually wore this in my Philadelphia vlog. If you want to check it out over here, I wore it on the last day. It's very comfortable, very good still got some stretch into it like you can do that if you want personally for me i have it unbuttoned here for a little bit more of a casual look you could roll it up your sleeves like this like that and you can make it simple carefree easy so that was my very last silk item um i actually i'm going to have the leather one released even though i filmed it earlier i'm gonna have that leather one released next week so let me know what you think do you like this kind of content honestly i can't do fashion style because it means i have to show you literally all these items and do reviews and i can't my my wallet can't afford that i'm trying to budget you know so the whole reason why i actually got into quince is because i wanted items that will last in my closet and they're basic so i can actually wear them and pair them up with a lot of items like for example wear it to the workplace wear it casually um i love like i'm prioritizing good fabrics right now so i have a lot of fabric that are in silk cashmere linen 
leather-ish. I guess it's not meant to be, but I, I like it for the edginess. So that's the main reason why I got into Quince when I saw the price tag. It is not cheap. It is not as cheap as like Forever 21 or uh, Five Below or Shein or Temu, Timu. But I personally like Quince because it's cheap for the actual item that you're getting. Like if you were to get this in retail price, it'll be a lot cheap, a lot more expensive. And personally for me, I don't care for that, especially for basics. As long as it works and it's strong and sturdy and I can wash it and not have any care in the world. So I do have no more. I think I finally have no more silk. There might still be some out there. I do know that the only one I didn't show you today was really the shorts. I've shown you pretty much everything else that I think I have. So let me know down below, would you consider Quince? I put my referral code or referral link in the actual description if you are curious. You get $20, I get $20 for every single referral I get essentially that you make a purchase through. And I think it's worth looking into. If you were to really choose one silk item, I would say the PJs are really nice, the PJ top and the pants. You can do the PJ shorts, you can do the PJ long pants that I have. Like I said, it's like literally meant to be for sleeping. I think a lot of these are like dupes almost, but cheaper because if I, specifically silk, I think the items are really high quality, but the style can be easily like duped from other places, but very cheap. So they say it's like straight from the manufacturer. So because of that, it's a little bit cheaper. You cut the middleman out, it's direct to consumer. So it's almost like Temu in that kind of way. But personally for me, I like it because it is a good quality. You get good price. 365 day return policy, as long as you don't remove any of the original packaging, there is like a little tag that is attached to it. As long as you don't cut it, as long as you don't tarnish a lot of the packaging, you're fine. So I only had to return a few things. The one actually where there was like the V-neck white shirt and the black shirt, I did size up when I realized it was tight around my arms here. So I did size up for that exact reason. Everything else fit well. I would say everything I have is size large, except for my pants. When it came to my PJs, the, I sized up to extra large because I want a little bit more room for me to sprawl out without breaking a seam. Silk is still very fragile. You don't want to treat it like it's nothing. So I have to be a little bit more fragile, but honestly, because I have false lashes, I've been sleeping in a little bit more dainty way. So I don't get all my lashes crushed up. Because of that, I sleep in a little bit more dainty way too so i don't do that anymore so it's i would say definitely check it out check out the reviews you'll see there's a lot of reviews a lot of photos i like that about quince i will say i think a lot of time people nowadays are expecting super fast shipping you will not get with that with quince you will not get that with quince with quince you will get it straight from the manufacturer so it could take one to two weeks um, personally for me, I've waited like one to two weeks. I don't think I've ever, like I've gotten a few where it take, it comes in two days and that's like if it's already in the US in some kind of warehouse or whatever. But I would say so far a really good positive experience. Subscribe if you want the leather version. It is coming out next Thursday. I will be probably either doing a linen one or a cashmere one after that. Definitely subscribe for that. Let me know what you think for this. I don't think I will do more content on fashion or style. To be honest, Quince is majority of my clothing now. <laughs> but um, I think that I will not be purchasing new items for the sake of reviewing. I think that's too much. I don't think I do style well. My acupuncture says I do style well, but I think it's really because I like dramatic coats and shoes and bags. So, all right. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought you liked the most. Personally, for me, I like the PJs. It is the most functional. I wear it every freaking day. I even wear it on calls. So sometimes people think it's just a dress shirt. It is my PJs. All right. Thank you so much and see you guys next time. Bye.